And we're live. Hi, everyone. Mary Gauthier here with Jamie Harris. We got Ray Wiley Hubbard in the green room. Michaela Gazich is here. Uh, it is Sunday, November 15th, and this is our 35th time to do this on a Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock Central Time. Uh, since the pandemic, we've been doing this little thing called Sundays with Mary, and I've been inviting my friends. And today we have a really wonderful, wonderful guest. If you're joining us from Way Ray Wiley's page, thanks for hopping on the show. Uh, Ray's going to be with you shortly, singing some songs and talking. I've known Ray for 25, maybe more years. I lose track. Uh, but uh, I, I have a lot of stories to tell, and uh, we're real excited to, to be able to bring, uh, bring Ray into this uh, conversation uh, and have this opportunity to, uh, to share uh, him with you if you haven't seen him before. And if you haven't seen us before and you're coming from Ray's page, hey, <laughs> thank you uh, for joining us. Let's play some music. What do you think? Sounds great. Get home at 5.30 Fix his drink and sit down in his chair Pick a fight with mama Complain about us kids getting in his hair At night he'd sit alone and smoke I'd see his frown behind his lighter's flame now that same frown's in my mirror I got my daddy's blood inside my veins Fish swim Birds fly Daddy yell Mama's cry Oh Drink. 
<laughs> an old song. Started with an old song. Uh, and then let's go to a new song. This this is a really new song. It's called Then Go Home. Highway 90 westbound In the falling dark Rolling past cornfields Catfish farms and swamps A Pascagoula sunset Longing breaking through I don't know why I'm always leaving I don't know why I left you Won't you meet me in the meadow We can't look up at the stars We could lean into the wind, dream again, and find out who we are. Won't you meet me in the meadow? No more alone. Let's lay down in the grass. Till the feelings pass, then go home. to tell you Babe, I'm ready to come clean I'm so tired of running From the things I cannot leave You and me in Mississippi Battered, beautiful, and scarred In need of forgiveness And the awful grace of God Won't you meet me in the meadow? We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind, dream again, find out who we are. Won't you meet me in the meadow? No more alone. We could lay. We could lay down in the grass till the feelings pass, then go home. Yes. Let me get this off. <laughs> oh. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, looking at the comments, we got people from everywhere. Helsinki, hello Helsinki. <laughs> it's so good to uh, to be able to uh, to do this. 
Uh, we're still learning the technology. We're a little late today, sorry. We're just, there's so many buttons to push and <laughs> variables that have to happen to bring everybody into this stream, but we got it and uh, everybody's here. Ray's in the green room, McKaylee's in the green room. Let's play one more and then bring Ray in. Sure. Let's play, um, let's play one of the soldier songs. Uh, let's play the war after the war, what sure. do you think? Uh, and this is a song I wrote with a group of military spouses. Their husbands all served um, at different times uh, in different branches of the U.S. military, but the wives had a very similar tale to tell. And what they said when I sat down and asked them what it's like to be married to, to a soldier uh, is that they often uh, felt uh, as if they were invisible. And people don't ask them how they're doing, they ask them how their husband's doing. Uh, and they said, Mary, there's a war after the war. We thought all we had to do is get them home safe, alive, uh, and we could proceed with our life. But uh, so many of our military families are dealing with uh, what they're calling the war after the war. Who's going to care for the ones who care for the ones who went to war? There's landmines in the living room, eggshells on the floor. Lost myself in the shadow of your honor and your pain. You stare out of the window as our dreams go down the drain. Invisible. War after the war. Back in no basic training. Say hello to Ray and see how things are going down there in Austin, Texas. Jamie has to hit a few buttons and make it happen. I think Ray might be muted and I can't unmute him, so hopefully he can unmute himself. <laughs> Let's see if he can hear us. Yay! Uh, okay. We got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I have it so well. You know, I'm still upset they took away the rotary phone. <laughs> You know, and all this stuff. But, oh, yeah, good. Hey, good to see you guys. Good to see good you, Ray. Right. Happy birthday to oh, you. Oh, thank you very much. We had one, uh, had actually two uh, 
thir uh, Saturday. So yeah, I'm doing good, man. You yeah, know? every birthday is a good day. It really say. is. You know, we had a good time. I had some a lot of people call me up and text me and social media tweeted me happy birthday. So it was really it was a lot. It was a good one. You know. Well, you know, I was just saying in the intro, I think I've known you 25, it might be 26 years or so. I think I met you at the Strawberry Music Festival. Is that, is that, do you, do you That's, recall? I believe that was it. I think I brought you a cappuccino or something while you were signing autographs. And you then did. I heard, and then I heard your set and you were just uh, great. And then I, you came back and you said, Sam, do you have any advice for me? And I said, don't ever speak to them directly. <laughs> it's the whole crowd, but don't don't do it individually. <laughs> well, you know, I actually wrote the story of that cappuccino um, because you didn't know this, but I'm gonna tell you now. That was my very first festival. Yeah. And uh, I had never you been killed. On, I'd never been on a big stage before. I was 40 years old. It was my very first festival. Uh, and I had no idea what to expect when I got off the big stage because I had never been on a big stage. And I got off the big stage and there was this big long line of people who wanted to talk to me and half of them were crying. Yeah. And I didn't know that my music, I, I, that was news to me that my music would make people cry. And I didn't know what to do. And you, I, you, you showed up with a miracle cappuccino and I, I think I remember I said, what do I do? And you said, well, yeah, I reckon you just hug them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you hug them and you sell them your CD. <laughs> well, if, if I remember right, you stood next to me and, and, and I was able to lean on you. Uh, and, and those are what, those moments are what life is made of. And that, is something I will never forget, and I think you've been that person for an awful lot of artists, uh, Ray. Well, you know, it's 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 one of those things. It's uh, that that uh, they say you, in order to keep it, you got to give it away, you know. And somewhere in there, when I was around forty-one, after I got clean and sober, I made a commitment that I was going to see what I could contribute with my music, my songs, rather than just what I could get. You know, I wasn't going to write songs because I had a publishing deal or I wasn't going to write songs to try to get someone to record them. I was just going to write, you know, whatever I wanted to write about and uh, and see what I could contribute, whether it be somebody smiling at some goofy lyric or they want to dance or if they think about, who's this guy he's mentioning in a song? So, But by doing that, you know, it's, uh, it, 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 it's a valuable thing, I think. You have a a gift for knowing when people need you and uh, uh, I really needed you on that day and and that was the most important cappuccino of a coffee drinking life I gotta tell you that <laughs> <laughs> well, well we did a tour together up east I think it was I can't remember it was, it was a sub gig it started snowing and yep oh gosh I did yep. played some really funky little house concerts and yep Yep. Uh, yeah, but we had a good t good on was, that tour, man. Yeah, it was 23, 24 years ago, and, and two of my friends got married, and they were women. And it, this was, gay weddings weren't a thing yet. It wasn't legal yet. Uh, ah. And, uh, oh, yeah. You remember? And I was a nervous wreck. I'm like, oh, God, what are their families? It, to me, it was, yeah. brand, it was brand new, and their families were a little nervous. The coolest person in the whole uh, event was you. <laughs> I, I remember that. Well, yeah. well that's because I wasn't getting married. I was already married. I didn't, I, I didn't have to do anything, you know. But yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, we had we had some, we had some great times. That was a good tour. It was cool, man. I got to play Forever Young, and you, again, yeah. you were you were right there, steady. I'm like, oh god, I, uh, it was the strangest thing. Uh, and now it's not at all. We're, we're not at all. We're acclimated to it and grateful for for it. But at the time, I, it was. It was like being on Mars. And, yeah, it was uh, very strange. It was very, very beautiful and very strange. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, interesting to... Uh, you just, you just got to keep you cool no matter what. <laughs> you got that going on. Uh. And then some. Well, I'm just so happy that, um, that things have gone well. I mean, every year seems to build a little more for you. 
Uh, congratulations on a big record deal. Yeah. Taping tape Austin City Limits after all these years. It was it was just probably as sweet as it gets after waiting. All, they should have had you 30 years ago, but uh, now it's kind of like, well, okay then. We can, you don't want to peak in high school, right? That's right. You don't want to peak too soon, you know. Keep still <laughs> that that show business carrot still dangling in front of me, you know, just <laughs> pushing that cart off, <laughs> trying to get it, you know. So still reaching for it. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it it's it it feels good. It kind of you know validates why we do this at ter certain times. You know, still writing songs and uh, you know putting out records and uh, putting it and still doing it the way I want to do. Still writing what I want to write. You know, so yeah, I feel very grateful. Uh, and your imagination seems limitless. You, you continue to come up with really incredible stuff. That uh, oh. it's so engaging. You you just have this. You con. You're a conjurer. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we grifters, you know, we, 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 we learn how to do that, you know. Well, you don't, we don't want to, we don't want to work on the highway or anything. We got to come up with something. Yeah, well, it, you know, like I say, I, I, uh, my dad was an English teacher, and so when I was like real little, I don't know, five, six years old, he wouldn't read me Three Little Pigs, he would read me The Raven, you know, and, uh, and got me into literature, and I'd say he'd give me a book, A Tale of Two Cities. Here, read this. We're going to discuss it, and at the supper table, or you know, just all these. So I had to. Be, I became aware of language very early on, even though, you know, I still talk like a hillbilly. I still appreciate words. But yeah. So yeah, that's how it kind of got all this started. You know. I didn't know that. That that's a really beautiful. Uh... I, I've always been jealous of, of people who, like Lucinda's dad was, was Miller yeah. Williams, an incredible poet. And I, I grew up in a, in a home that didn't really embrace literature or art, so I had to find it on my own. I wish I'd have had a little bit of a running start there. But, but it, it really is a warning to parents out there. You better be careful if you, if you read The Raven to a, a small boy. Yeah. He, could end up, he, could yeah. end up, he could end up a songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, uh, you know, it's one of the things I have, you mentioned young kids or whatever will come up, young guys will come up and ask me about songwriting. And I always say, uh, don't just listen to the ghost of Tom Joad, read the grapes of wrath, you know, see where Springsteen got that inspiration and how that works. Because reading is still important to me, especially today. I read, you know, all the time, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff online that's, you know, uh, everywhere, you know, not just all the social media news stuff. I go find, you know, metaphysical mythology stuff like that. So yeah, it keeps me, keeps me out of Judy's hair. <laughs> I read a lot too. I, I read all the time, and I, I, uh, I really, I really think reading is a part of writing. Uh, okay, so did I lose you? Did uh? Can you hear us? Ah. Uh, oh, no. Oh no. Can you hear yourself? I think I lost you. God damn it. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, everything froze. It did? Yeah. Oh, well, you're not frozen. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got you. I think I've got a bad jack on my headphones. I think. I don't know. Just so I apologize for that. I'm not that technical. You know, when I play guitar, I just stay around Farmer's Corner down here around E and just stay there. I don't do anything like that. So that's, I'm very basic. So I think I've got a headphone check that's messed up. But I think anyhow, that, we'll, that, might, I think that might be it. But, but none of us signed up to be MTV, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't well, you play cool. some music while that thing's still working? Yeah, you, let me... Give us a couple songs, would you? We'll put ourselves in the green room. If anything okay. goes bad, just look panicked and we'll come back. Oh, well, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Good disbelief I wonder when the madness Is gonna be done The grievous tears That come upon me The consequence Route 91 Then I was in the studio Once again I broke down And cried A voice come on my headphones Told me 
my Tom Petty died And all the rock gods are dead or dying Seems the whole world is broken and crying It is more than prayers we're needing We're all on a cross alone and bleeding out Engineer, don't play it back Ain't nobody left to sing a blues the way they supposed to be song. Everybody's talking, nobody's listening. It's like we're just speaking in tongues. There's a beauty that we witness when standing in a sacred place. Yet yeah, looking at the disarray down here, you think maybe God's run out of grace. And all the rock gods are dead or dying Seems the whole world is broken and crying It is more than prayers we are needing We're all on a cross alone and bleeding out The engineer don't play it back This train we're on is coming off the track We were as beautiful as angels When we was born with virtue and trust Then our innocence was lost Burned off and turned to rust We were betrayed by black winged shadows Rising in the darkness at dusk Stealing us away from the light Leaving broken toys in the dust And all the rock gods are dead Seems the whole world is broken and crying It is more than prayers we're needing We're all on a cross alone and bleeding and high Engineer, don't play it back This train we're on, coming off the track a song called Rock Gods and uh, threw in an extra chord there that you, <laughs> you didn't really have to, didn't need it, but uh, I kind of got distracted there for a minute. But anyhow, I put that on the last record co-starring with a young kid named Aaron Lee Tashton who is just, uh, uh, just a great cat. He's one of those young guys, kind of like, you know, when I first met uh, Mary and I just said, yeah, this uh, she's got the deal. She's got the goods, and uh, like you know, and also with Jamie Harris and, and uh, so anyhow. Uh, but this is a song. Here's an old song I wrote a little while back. <laughs> Take Willie for a pony ride. Let it rain, let it pour. Ain't gonna study war no more. If you got a mind to, you can sing. If you got a body, baby, shake that thing now. Judd, Scrappy Judd, he's got muddy waters in his blood. The young man can sing the blues, and he don't ever tie his shoes up. Let it rain, let it pour, ain't gonna study war no more. If you got a mind to, you can sing, and if 
you got a body, ooh, shake that thing now. She, Miracle She, she writes all night, she sleeps all the day, the damnedest thing I ever seen was that woman in a limousine, uh, let it rain, let it pour, ain't gonna study wall no more, if you got a mind to use it, and if you got a body, shape that thing now. Jamie Harris, pretty as the lights of her. She does things that I can't. She got a tattoo of Towns Van Zandt all oh, let it rain. Let it pour, I ain't gonna study war no more. If you got a mind to, you can sing. And if you got a body, baby, shake that thing off. Oh, let it rain, let it pour, I ain't gonna study war no more. If you got a mind to, you sing. If you got a body, baby, shake What now? Was that song is how I found out about Mary, actually. Oh, really? I knew every who everyone was in that song, except for Mary Gaucher. Ah. Reason. Oh, well, then you owe me. I, I, know, I, I know I do. I know I do. We both uh, owe you. We both owe uh, you, yeah. I just mess around today, and I just usually make up stuff about, you know, people that I know. I'll throw it around different time, and I said, Jamie Harris, Jamie Harris, uh, Paris, you know. <laughs> and you get still getting your Towns Van Zandt tattoo, of course. So, yes, thank you know, you. I couldn't lie, couldn't lie about that, you know. Well, she just about fell off her chair, so there's that. <laughs> that was worth the whole pandemic <laughs> for me. <laughs> Let me fix this real quick. Are we there? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, it's, it's still messing up again. Oh no. Let me try it again here. Boy, you. Uh, can you hear guys hear me okay we can hear you yeah. oh man i don't hear you at all oh, uh no. try one more time i That's think my jack just headphones. burned out yeah, you got any other headphones he can't hear us huh? That's right. I'll, I'll text him dick we'll text you it's not the jack it's the computer what it? Huh? I don't know what it is. Okay. That's all right. Oh, Mary, I think we were having a little problem. I wonder if, I don't know what it is. We're just, uh, can we, I, um, if a, I can't hear you. I'm so sorry. Call Judy. I'm just yeah, doomed. Yeah. Call Judy right now? Uh, yeah. Right now? Yeah. Call Judy? Yeah. All right. Well, it's not our end. Huh? It's not Well, somebody call somebody. Why don't y'all do a song? I'll do. I don't and, know what it is. It's not on our end. I mean, it's not the jack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there you are. So, telephone, old school. <laughs> can you hear him? Can you hear him? Can you hear him? Can you hear me? We can hear you. We can hear y'all. Yeah. Then just do it that. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. Now I can hear you. Yeah. This is kind of awesome. The show must go on. Is you know? there another, another set, of, set headphones of headphones at your, at your house? house? No, we're not. I just, it's the only one I got. I don't know what's happening. I'm so sorry about it. it it's, it's the jack somewhere coming out of the computer or something. It's, it's not. Well, then it's, then it's the headphones, and we don't have another one. We're just very low budget that way, so we'll make it work, you know. I can, I can hear you. Why don't you, Why don't you go, ahead go ahead and play, and play two more two songs? More songs. Okay. Because we, we, we can hear, we can you, hear great. you great. Okay. I'll do that then. I'm going to hang up on you and do a couple of more. Okay. I'll, let me let me do that. All right. Great. And uh, okay. So there we go. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. Um, this is uh, this is uh, one off uh, the last record co-starring, I happen to have a good, this is called Bad Trick. This is a song I wrote with my wife, Judy. 
I came home from a gig and it was a rough gig. Sound was wacky and uh, the uh, promoter was a little sketchy on the head count. And uh, so I came home and she goes, how was your gig? And I said, man, it's a rough gig. And she said, well, everybody turns to bad prick every now and then. Get in and on you if you go to Nashville. Don't operate machinery if you won't been a drill. You got to have some faith if you in a lion's den. And everybody turns a bad trip now and then. Club soda don't always remove ketchup stains. Ain't nothing you can take is gonna cure a migraine. Broken dreams is a premise in a miser man. And everybody turns a bad trick now and then. You got to have some scars if you wanna be a poet. To get weeds out of a garden, woo all you got to hold it. Possession with intent will get you five to ten. And everybody turns a Trick now and then, and everybody turns a bad trick now and then. Most gamblers know that they'll never break even. There's five stages to go through if you're grieving. The sword is always bloodier than a pen, and everybody turns a bad trick now and then. You got to have some scars if you want to be a poet To get weeds out of a garden, woo oh, you got to hoe it Possession with intent will get you five to ten And everybody turns a bad trick now and then And everybody turns a bad trick now and then So that was Bad Trick off the new record, which I had, it's uh, co-starring. It just has a bunch of different uh, friends and really wonderful musicians that uh, I have the good fortune to know and to uh, and call them friends. And that trick there, I'm very proud of the fact that I do have a beetle, an eagle, a crow, and a was not was to play on that track, which uh, you know that even impresses me. But let me do this one here. That uh, this is a song I've known since uh, since I've known Mary, and uh, this is called "The Messenger." I'm wearing old boots, high Cuban heels, a soul's little. Stand terrible grace. My trousers are torn and my jacket is borrowed, and I'm wearing my time, my honey eyes, in my face. I am not looking for loose stems or pretty girls with crosses around her neck. I don't want for roses or water I'm not looking for God now I'm not looking for sex now I've worn out my welcome In certain small circles in Spanish bordellos and Confederate states, but there is an angel in her leathers and kindness, and she whispers my name as she smiles at my fate. I am not looking for loose diamonds or pretty girls. Crosses around their necks, and 
I don't want for roses or water. I'm not looking for God here. I'm not looking for sex. All the true believers are out on the road tonight And no matter what happens, well you know they'll be okay And to the rock and roll gypsies, may the last song you sing Be by Mr. Van Sant, if you find yourself out in Santa Fe Now I have a mission a small coat of honor to stand and deliver to you by whatever measures and the message that I give you is I got from this old poet he said our fears are like dragons guarding our most precious treasures so I am not looking for loose diamonds here no Pretty girls with crosses around their necks And I don't want for roses or water I'm not looking for God now And I just want to see what's next There you go, and uh, Mary, I guess um, I loved it. And um, you know, if anybody <laughs> was going to ruin your show, it's going to be me, right? <laughs> just going to, you know, tear Not up everything. You know, I'm just like a raccoon. You know what I don't, <laughs> you know, mess up a mess on. So, uh, but uh, but I guess so. I guess I guess my work is done here. <laughs> Well, what we'll try but to thank do. you guys so much. I love you both dearly. We love and, you too. And uh, maybe maybe we'll get enough tip money to buy me some headphones. <laughs> okay, hang on one second. Okay, you got it. Okay, I'll be right here. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So y'all, I'm in the green room. All right. So uh, his he can't hear uh, what's coming through, but uh, we can hear him. So. I'm going to ask him to play one more uh, towards the uh, end of the show. And uh, for now, um, uh, I'd like to have Jamie play something. Uh, what do you feel like playing? Yeah, I'll play the song you wrote with my friend Graham Weber. Please. Love is going to come again. Maybe when you're not quite looking Maybe tonight, my friend Maybe when you're driving, love will come and You will fall into a place You never thought you could fit in Love is gonna come again I know you don't believe me yet Stuck inside your head Wondering what you could have said In that bed Love will find you And remind you of the things You thought you'd give up feeling Love is gonna come again I know it hurts like hell
lying in your sheets alone Hiding from your telephone As it echoes through your empty home No way of knowing If you'll have anything close to what you had is gonna come again I know it hurts like hell right now and only you know how no one can tell you when oh but love is gonna come Joy will find its way to you Maybe it'll come with the morning dew Right where those flowers grew Butterflies flew And on their wings They always bring the kind of peace To ease your grieving Love is gonna come Thanks, Mary. <laughs> uh, great song, Jamie. Thank you. I got me an apartment on the east side, 1411, 13th Street. I walk on the tracks by. Cumberland River Over the bridge Past Lover's Lead
another train. Train another songs. Train. Yes, train songs. Playing train songs. There's never too many train songs. Mm -hmm. Always another train song. I feel like when Butch Hancock was on the show, we did like almost all train songs, actually. Uh, Butch and I could play train, train songs, swap them yeah, for, exactly. for quite a while. Yeah. Quite a while. Why don't we go to Italy and see what's happening over there in Europe? Uh, hello, ciao, hello, ciao. Hello. Welcome to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> ciao, maestro. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. And uh, I hope you too. There, uh, we are uh, surviving. Uh, this is the 35th uh, Sunday. So, Gosh. together. So, that's interesting. So, um, I was never thinking uh, at the beginning to go on so for so long this this for sure but anyway uh, as i told you last summer i i really enjoyed this moment uh, on sunday and really helped me to go on uh, through the week <laughs> this moment i tell you i pass my days thinking what i will do on sunday so that's interesting <laughs> That's a, another way uh, to be alive as an artist and to think about something new. And uh, uh, we are always in touch also during the week. Thank you also today for uh, helping me with uh, translations of my songs, Mary. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> yes, yes, that's uh, precious. So, uh, and I like that uh, it's uh, now more than one year that we are not playing together but uh, we are wow. still so close yes uh, the last one was november, uh, november 11th. 11 yes that's right november the 11th was our last gig at the kennedy oh, center oh yes yes Veterans i remember that. last year yeah we had so much jet lag and we were so mm -hmm. tired and then they put us in that really nice hotel and it felt like uh just like laying down on the floor and just <laughs> we, yes. we were so tired but and I remember that uh, we decided at, at the last minute that uh, I could join you uh, after the, the European tour. And I'm so grateful for that. I didn't know <laughs> that uh, this could be the last concert for a while <laughs> in the US. I didn't yeah. know at the moment. So it's even more precious now to think about that. Yeah, Thank you're you. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to play today, Maestro? Oh, yes. Now, um, I had the idea that the last uh, Sunday, um, it was interesting to have something like a poetry corner here. And so uh, today I have um, another poet and uh, I'm prepared. This is the name of the poet and uh, an American poet. He lived in, uh, in uh, New York and um, he's a... Um, Jewish poet, but there are uh, many sides of him, and I love Jewish poets. I um, I was born in a family that was a mix between Catholic and uh, Jewish, and uh, I have a cross and a star of, on on my violin, as somebody know, because I dream of a friendship between uh, Jews and uh, and the Christian. Probably it, it will never happen. But I like to dream about that every time when I play my violin. Anyway, I can uh, recite this beautiful poem that I played, um, a, a music that I wrote years ago about uh, this poem when I was playing at a meeting of a, a Jewish Christian friendship in Rome. So it's uh, perfect for, uh, to think about uh, friendship, to think about peace. So uh, I'm ready. I, I read the poem and I play uh, something. So this is a um, poem for these uh, days we are living. We are uh, stuck, but we can have something like a interior procession inside ourselves. This poem is called No Jerusalem But This. The shrine whose shape I am has a fringe of fire 
flames skirt my skin. There is no Jerusalem but this, breath in flesh by shameless love, built high upon the tides of blood. I believe the prophets and Blake, the poet, and like David, I bless myself with all my might. I know many hills were holy ones, but now in the level lands to live, Zion ground down must become marrow. Thus, in my bones, I am the king's son, and through death's domain I go, making my own procession. So beautiful. Beautiful, Michele. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, um, I was thinking to go on with this idea of the poetry corner. That can be interesting. Uh, something different in these uh, Sundays with Mary. So poetry is a part of uh, your songs, and we are dreaming to put poetry and music together. So let's go down to the source of uh, all this the yes. poets that we love yes 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 the dreams of peace the dreams of peace mm. <laughs> and uh, thank you mary for inviting me every sunday this is really a precious moment for me and all our friends also that are following us thank you thank, thank you maestro you, so great. absolutely Ciao. beautiful maestro That's as you. always Ciao, Ciao. Ciao, Michaela. I love the new poetry corner. I love oh, yeah. <laughs> this new segment on the <laughs> show. You, I love it very much. We Thank might you. start another show on Saturday. Another show. Poetry corner. Poetry corner. Yeah. Poetry corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Thank you. Great. So we got Ray uh, in the green room, and we'll have him back for two songs uh, at the end. So I'll play. Well, you know what? Before I play, I'll go ahead and bring you a word from our sponsor. Oh, That's great. me. So uh, three things I want to mention today. One is um, uh, the the this is called a bundle. It's all the CDs. Well, it's all the records I've made in my career. It's ten different recordings. Uh, it comes in a box. Uh, it fits perfectly in this box. All ten records. Uh, and uh, it's $50, and we send it out right away. Uh, so uh, that helps us to keep going. And we have a lot of stuff in the store, T-shirts and uh, vinyl and, and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, uh, the uh, second thing I wanted to mention is that I am working on a platform called Topeka, and I'm doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring with songwriters, uh, one-hour sessions. Uh, and I'll sit with the songwriter and, and uh, work with you on your song um, and try to help you uh, with the song, but more importantly, with an understanding, uh, a deepen your understanding of songwriting. That's my hope. And uh, I love doing it. I've, I've met some of the most incredible people during this pandemic sitting with them and their songs. Uh, and uh, it's a real privilege to work with songwriters, and I take it seriously. So there's that, and there's one more thing. I opened up a new page on my website. It's called Mary's Mercy Missives. And if you wanna ask me a question, uh, just go there uh, and send it on over. I uh, am answering questions. I'm taking it as writing prompts uh, and uh, uh, posting the answers. Uh, I won't post your name, just your initials. Uh, and it's giving me um, an opportunity to write uh, much in the spirit of, of the poet Rilke, uh, which Ray mentioned in the last song he just played, or a couple of songs ago, uh, the letters uh, to a young poet. I'm trying to, to, in the spirit of Rilke, answer your questions uh, and uh, respond uh, in a way that hopefully will lead to my second book, because uh, I can't think up the book. So I'll just answer your <laughs> questions, and as the answers pile up, hopefully a, a genius editor can turn that into a book. Um, that's what I got. So Mary's Mercy Misses, pro pose me a question, make it a good one, and I'll do my best to answer it well. So I'm going to play one, and then uh, uh, we'll have Ray come back and, and play two. And I uh, hear he can hear us now. He can yay! hear us now. Yay, yay. <laughs> so don't, have to stop. don't move. Don't move. No, stop <laughs> saying bad things, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, Eric. Michaela is definitely uh, a That's treasure. Sure. He is a treasure. I'm so lucky to have him. Um, you know, he used to play with Michelle Schacht many, 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 many years ago. Uh, he toured with Michelle Schacht, and I met him uh, in Italy uh, probably 20 years ago uh, after he got off the road with her, and I brought him up for a song, and we've been playing together ever since. That's how you get into Willie's band, too. I've heard that. Yeah. He, he brings you up for a song, and, and if he likes you, that's it. That's how Mickey got in, literally. That's kind of how it works with Little Faith as well. Yeah, they bring you up for a song. If it works, you just, you're in the band, you're and the that's band. it. Yeah. Your, your life changes. Yeah. <laughs> this is a song for the souls of the departed. I know a lot of you out there are struggling with loss right now. I am, too. you as the daylight dims may the morning sun warm your face till I see you again Struggle beneath the 
silver sky May a summer rain inside your dreams Whisper lullabies May there be no more sorrow No more pain May you sleep inside the stillness of the night Till I see you again May you never be a stranger May you never feel alone May you reunite with family and friends And may they walk you home May love embrace you Dance that never ends May you rest in gentle arms Till I see you again May you rest in gentle arms Till I see you again Thank you for holding it together for me, Harris. <laughs> Caught me on a good day. Caught me uh, on a good day. <laughs> yeah, the glue that holds it together. <laughs> Jamie Harris. <laughs> uh, uh, we know, oh gosh, so many people are dealing with loss right now. We send, we send our, our heart, heartfelt uh, condolences. I lost a good friend myself. Actually, I lost five good friends. But I lost a hiking partner that I walked that trail with at least once a week for the last 10 years. And oh gosh, you know, what a time, 2020, what a time. Let's bring Ray back and have him bring uh, Rayness to this yeah. conversation. I can, I can hear you now. Yay. I can hear you. Good. Real, did, you, did you kick it or something? Did I you? don't know what's happening. It's just, <laughs> hey, real quick, uh, let me ask you a question. Jamie, your earrings. Yeah, they're snakes. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> do you have. One. One. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. You know, got to do cool. that. So, anyhow, I just had to ask that question. But uh, that's what I thought they were, you know. Yeah, well, great. I'm, I'm great, you know. Doing good. It's great, great, great. What a great deal you're doing, Mary. You know, gets us through, right? It gets us through to gives us something to look forward to, and I get to see people like you. Well, there the, are no people like you, but it, I get to see my friends. It's really nice to, uh, you know, what you're doing with the soldiers and everything. Because when I first met you, I didn't think you had a conscience. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I was I was duct taping it back on yeah. at that time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you do it, and you're gonna do another book. Yeah, yeah. Good, the first good, book good. Is coming out in July, so I, I figure what what the hell? I've, it looks like pandemic's got at least another six months to roll. So yeah, get get a run and start on the next book because. Well, basically, because the publisher will pay me to do it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been uh, working on a new record, but I've been. Uh, I've been drawing too. I want to hear, let me show you this. See if you can see that. <laughs> oh. It's uh, you know the Maybe days. I keep my gratitude. Are yeah. my expectations. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Got a little snake down there too. So yeah, I've been doing those, and I think we're gonna. 
do prints for Christmas or something. I don't know what we're doing, but I think so, aren't we? And our website. Website, yeah. There somehow have to deal on the website about them. Well, <laughs> when we announced that you were going to be on the show, there's at least, I'm not exaggerating, forty comments quoting you. You could do uh, at least forty quotable posters. Hmm. And number them, sign them, and auction them off right there on the RayWiley.com. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, probably Judy's already thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. She's a great manager, that mother yeah. Hubbard. I tell people that if it wasn't for Judy, I would have everything I own in a shoebox and I'd be looking for a happy hour gig. Because you know? <laughs> uh, she really has taken care of me, and it's a good thing, you know. She's a hoot. Uh, she takes care of you, you take care of us, and it's a chain of love. That's what it is. <laughs> well, I'm going to put myself in the green room and have you do a couple of songs and sing us on out today. Okay, let me, uh, let me do this one here. Screaming in a mic, playing a strap through a box AC-30. Give the troll some back and a ringing in the ear. My last band covered the clash, the kicks and the replacements. Seems my soul is as misspent as my year. I got a Princeton reverb It's in an old anvil case It's in the back of a Ford kind of line And it's a six hour drive to Austin And the Continental Club Gotta change the strings on my ES-335 Tell the devil that I'm getting there as fast as I can Playing this old Gibson in an all-country band And loving a woman who can act us any man Tell the devil that I'm getting there as fast as I can Met her in L.A. We was opening for some folk. She had eyes mascared like Eva Green. She sparkled with wildness like the blue yonder. She'd done a time in darkness and was two years clean. She wears an old leather jacket And it was made by Irish Saints And boots engraved with skulls and thorns She got a rink in Tulsa But she don't like red dirt bands Being in love with her is like living in a thunderstorm Tell the devil that I'm getting there as fast as I can Playing this old Gibson and an old country band And loving a woman who may cuss any man Tell the devil that I'm getting there as fast as I can Now the faith living grace and faded purple and the gamblers never bet on twelves or two the drunken poets disappear into deep shadows and the rock and roll believers sing the easy ride of blues Tell the devil that I'm getting there as fast as I can Playing this old Gibson 
moaning in an off country band. And loving a woman looking out cussing in hell, man. Tell the devil that I'm getting there as fast as I can. go and truer words were never spoken i'm in love with a woman who can out cuss any man <laughs> and not paying attention to me <laughs> uh, uh, let me do this one here this and while we're, might, we're here might as well do product placement too right you know mm -hmm. <laughs> i get a four pack of those i wrote this song here with a really uh Great song where I got a lot of respect for. Oh, Hayes Carl. So I know a woman that's wild as wrong. She likes being naked and gazed upon. Crosses the bridge, she sets it on fire. She lands it like a bird on a telephone wire. I'm gonna holler, and I'm gonna scream. Gonna give me some mescaline, and then I'm gonna rhyme that with gasoline. It's a drunken poet's dream. There's some money on the table and a pistol on the floor A few paperback books by Louis L'Amour Whiskey bottles are scattered like last night's clothes the Cigarettes and papers and Oreos My dominoes And my harmonica has got a busted reed Lips are chapped and are about to bleed. She says that's nothing when she was a kid. She danced with the dead at the pyramids. I'm gonna holler, and I'm gonna scream. Gonna give me some mescaline, and then I'm gonna rhyme out with gasoline. It's a drunken poet's dream. student loan Smelling like coors and cheap cologne She tells me not to worry about judgment day Says Biden getting to heaven just ain't our way I'm going to holler and I'm going to scream Gonna give me some mescaline then I'm gonna rhyme out with gasoline to drunken poet's dream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I know a woman as you wild as wrong. She likes being naked and gazed upon. Ta da! Thank you. What a nice crowd. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. You have uplifted our spirits. Oh, well, you likewise. You know, Mary, it's a very strange time right now, you know, but uh, it it's, it's like that little thing says. I, 
you know, with all the, the fear and the depressing state, we can't do anything and the anger about certain things is, you know, the way that I combat that is, you know, is, is gratitude. You know, for each day I find, I make myself find something to be grateful for. Otherwise I'm just going to end up under the bed in a fetal position screaming, you know, but, but, uh, so yeah, I, I'd like to say I'm very grateful for, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm very aware of, of, you know, what's going on and why I have a good life today. Mm. So, yeah, but that's how, he's a, it was a lot of fun. I'm sorry about her technical stuff, but, you know, that's just that touch of amateurism I have that's so appealing. <laughs> In People all love honesty, it. it wasn't bad at all. Rodney <laughs> Crowell was a disaster. Yours was a slight <laughs> faux pas. I'm going to have to, I'll find that one and look at it and feel better about myself. <laughs> we got started like 20 minutes late. He couldn't figure out how to turn his camera on. <laughs> uh, After all that sound checking and everything. You know, that wasn't any problem at all. No, not at all. Yeah. We love you, Ray. We love Judy. Judy. We miss you. Thank you for doing this. Oh, man, Mary, Jamie, thank you guys so much. I had a great, great time. And y'all stay safe out there. And when this is over, uh, you know, we'll be able to hug. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Exactly. Thanks for being with us today, Ray. Thank you. You Take bet. Take care. Thank you. We're going to leave here somewhere. Yeah, All we're right. going to put you out. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Um, Jamie and I are getting in the car. We're heading down to uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we've got a outside show. We're going to play in 10 days, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So if you're yeah. not doing anything the day after Thanksgiving and you want to come down to Key West. Yeah, it's an outside show at a marina. Uh, that's a hotel called the Perry. So we're going to start our drive after after we shut all this gear down. And uh, we'll still be streaming, though, Sunday. We have Max Gomez uh, this coming week. And uh, we look forward to uh, resetting our rig and seeing what, what's broken by the time we get there and making it work <laughs> in a hotel room. Good luck to us. Thank y'all for joining us. Uh, sending love to everybody. Stay safe. We plan to uh, social distance, mask, all the stuff. We got to get another. We got another bunch of months before we get get to the other side of this. So uh, we're gonna really be safe and and uh, do our best to. Uh, to keep to keep it clean. So uh, we'll see you in a week. God bless. Take care. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Michaela. Thanks, Jamie. See ya.